Good morning iPhone, welcome to today's vlog. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day today. We're all up, got ready. I spent the whole day yesterday, I'll insert a few clips now, sorting out some worksheets for Jace, which is what I usually do on a Sunday night anyway. Um, but I did loads yesterday because I wanted to be prepared and have a load of worksheets and fun activities and game type things to take away with us when we go on our trip towards the end of this month. And I'm kind of halfway through done with that. I managed to, I, it actually took me so long. I think I was at it for like three hours yesterday. So I went on Twinkle, I got all my resources from Twinkle. I went on there and it took me a while to find what I wanted. I wanted to have quite a lot of literature, like English, number, let num number letters, number work, oh my gosh, letters work, phonics, um, and things like that. Because as I've already said multiple times on this vlog, Jace is amazing with numbers. And I wouldn't say he struggles with letters, but he's definitely less interested in learning about letters. So printed off a load of things like, I'll actually show you what I've printed off in a second. Um, but I, print, I found all of the ones I wanted, printed them all off, cut loads of them out, and then laminated a load of them. There's still a few things I need to do. Um, but right now, the girls are upstairs. They're, all, they're going to a concert, the older, the two teens. They're going to a concert tomorrow. So they've been practicing their emo look <laughs> and they've just had the best time doing that and then Isla, me and the younger th two, three, the younger three have just been up there getting ourselves ready, showering and things like that. So I got a little, I've got a little haul, a little nursing, breastfeeding friendly winter clothing haul. It's not massive but I did get a few tops and things that I thought I would share with you guys. I've actually got one of them on right now and I absolutely love it. Let me set you up somewhere else so I can show you. It's like such a bad camera angle <laughs> but it's one of the, I don't know if you call them like pearl necks, turtle necks, but it's a really nice one. Sometimes they're really tight on your neck and a bit uncomfortable and make you feel too hot but this one's really baggy so I really like it. But it's literally, I got this in a size 16. I probably could have got the 14 because it's kind of baggy, but I do prefer the size 16 um, because I like them to be floaty like this. I don't like it when things are tight on me. Um, so I prefer this size. And it's just got this little thing here. And let me just check, I'm all good. But um, yeah, really easy to obviously breastfeed in. I also love the color of this one. It's so soft and it's like a nice green color. So I also got it in this, like a dark, really light brown, dark beige. Not sure what colour. It's like a stone colour, would you say? Hello, you two. What are you doing? Little, little Ted. What have you got? What is it? Card. A card? Yes. Yeah. Card on the What? Can you see? <laughs> are you matching Aurora today? Yeah. You want Aurora matching in your outfits? Yeah. Jace is looking like a cool dude as ever. Brockiosaurus, he's enormous. Doing this podcast. Yep, that is the best, isn't it? Yeah, it's fixed. It's fit. Oh yeah, he couldn't play this for a while because he had no battery. So he thought it was broke. He wasn't broke, he just didn't have battery. Not battery, sorry, memory. Gosh, mummy's getting all confused now. Didn't have memory. No, <gasps> no, it has Guess what? Brockiosaurus. <laughs> they both love it. Bless you. Hand over your mouth, Ted. Anyway, yes, I also got it in this like stony, beigey colour. I think it's really nice. It's really comfortable and really flattering, and it's just so good that it's easily breastfeeding friendly. Again, I got this in a size 16, and it fits really nice. I then got this, it's got a little something on the collar there. I then got this one, which is also size 16, but definitely a size 16. Like those two were a size 16, but I feel like they were big for a size 16. This one is a size 16 and definitely not big. Like it fits, but I don't feel like I could have sized down in this. I feel like I could have sized down in those two. Um, but this is so cozy and so soft. Again, it's got like the turtle. I'm loving these at the minute. I'm loving them. And I hate that when you're breastfeeding, you're so limited. These are all from Shein, by the way. Shein. 
I used to think it was Sheen. I can't get used to calling it Shein. Um, it was because it used to be called She In Style, if anyone didn't know that. I didn't know that until fairly recently. Anyway, I ordered from there because they do have <coughs> quite a lot of nursing friendly tops that are actually, in my opinion, stylish. Everyone's style's different, um, so I'm not saying everyone's going to find these stylish. But I do kind of feel like, I'm sure loads of mums are going to relate to me when I say this, but I kind of lost my way with style and what style actually is and my own fashion and what I like to wear and what suits me. I feel like sometimes when you become a mum, especially if you're breastfeeding, because you're so limited on what you can wear, you just, I don't know, I feel like you just kind of lose sense of, you don't care, you basically just throw anything on on a morning, that's what I do anyway. Um, and I'm trying to find things that, a breastfeeding friendly but still I feel good in. Maybe stylish isn't the word um, because it's so unique to each person. Basically just things that I feel good in and I don't feel like, <laughs> I was about to say I don't feel like just a mum whilst I'm wearing a mum top. Anyway, this top, let's show you it. So it's, it's actually quite similar to the other ones but it's got this extra bit here. So did the other one have that actually? I can't remember if the other one had that. So it's still got the wrap bit, as you can see, there. It looks a bit weird on camera. <laughs> and then to feed, you just pick up here, and then obviously feed like that. I absolutely love this. And I'm so glad because I also bought it in green. <laughs> I love khaki and I'm so glad this is so nice. This one actually feels slightly bigger than the other one, than the black one, but it is the same size. It feels like it's kind of, I don't know if it sits properly. It's like two little crossover bits there. I'm not sure if I would prefer them to just be down. But again, the same type of concept. And yeah, these are really comfortable and really cozy. And then I also got this sweat top. I'm actually laughing and kind of cringing at myself a little bit. At the fact that I just said I'm trying to find clothes that are more than just me being a mum when literally I didn't even realise that <laughs> half of what I ordered says mum on it or mama. But this is super, super duper cosy. It's one of those sweatshirts that you just want to reach for when you go into your wardrobe in the morning. And inside is, I don't know if you can see, it's really fleecy. Really soft and fleecy, so it's really cosy and nice and warm. And then this one has zips here. Okay, I'm not sure what I think about this one. Jason Miller or Miller, should I say? Jason or Miller have obviously ripped out this, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> I just found it in the living room. But um, this is basic, I mean, there's pros and cons. I'm not sure on the, the blockness. It's kind of blocky, if that makes sense. It's just kind of blocky. I like the pockets, it's got pockets. Um, and I like the fact that the zips on this go around the front, so it's front zips rather than side zips. And just with my boobs, I prefer the front zips. Um, what's going on here though? <laughs> what's this? So is that still supposed to be for your thumb? Because I'm not sure I'm loving that, to be honest. I'm not sure on this one. I'm keeping it because I'm always looking for tops and I will definitely wear it. But I'm not sure what it looks like. Okay, finally, I got two of these just long sleeved stretchy tops. I would never wear these out on their own because they hug me in all the wrong places. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see the mum tum. The mum tum's still evidently there. Um, I don't know why, but these I just would never wear out on their own. Like, I would never go out with that on its own. I'd always have to have like a jacket over the top. But I did also get this one in green. A few of you guys have tagged me in these jackets that I can wear Aurora inside. And I ordered the black in a size 18. It's arrived. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because it's got that extra compartment for Aurora to sit in, to slot into. It looks massive. It looks absolutely huge. I'm gonna try it on now. It looks so big, oh my gosh. Watch it literally not be big at all. Actually, I don't think this is going to be that on oh, no, it is. No, this is massive. What the heck? Where's all this material coming from? This is just me wearing it as a hoodie. It's huge, but it's so cosy. I'm actually quite glad I got in this size. It's got really nice soft fleece inside. And it's just a big, nice, cosy hoodie. 
And then, if we're going anywhere for a walk, and I've got Aurora on me, I can clip this back on. That side. That side. And then she fits in there. She's even got a little hood. Um, she's also got nice fleece inside there. She's got a little hood on. And she can be inside my coat. How cute is that? Those coats that I just showed, the hoodies, they're not slings. So for anybody thinking I can just slot Aurora into it, just got to make these things clear. I can't. Obviously, I'd have to have her on me in the sling. And then that would be like an extra layer to keep her warm as well. That's why I got those, because it's blooming cold here. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with all those. I really actually like everything. I'm not sure on that one, the one with the beige on top. I feel like it was just not... I feel like it was a material. It wasn't my style material. I felt big and bulky in it. Um, and I just felt like it was a bit of a blocky style fit. Even though I did say a minute ago I wouldn't go out in these tops on their own because they're so hugging. That's just, that's nothing to do with the top. That's just me. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I might just leave this one on today actually because it's really stretchy and really cozy and warm. Anyway, that's it for my stuff. If anybody is interested in anything that I got, I got Aurora and Mila, and even Jace actually. The, and Isla. Isla actually got some really nice bits. Some gorgeous things. The teens, the teenagers, their things were just teenage things, but they also got some cute bits. Anyway, if anybody would like to see more hauls and more of what I bought, then let me know. What on earth are you two doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you nutters. Ah, my toe. I look like an emo. Look like an emo top, like an emo. Tomorrow is the day of my Bring Me the Horizon concert, and I'm so excited. But oh, Esme, Esme obviously is not very emo, so she didn't have any emo clothes, and we're kind of like a similar clothes size. I'm just out of breath because I run upstairs, but we're a similar clothes size. We're a similar clothes size. Um, so I got to steal her wardrobe. So she gets to steal my wardrobe. I'll show you my half full thing in a minute. But we've both got Bring Me the Horizon t-shirts on. We've got the merch Which is just on. perfect. Um, and I've got a, a jumper too. Yes. I told Dad to order merch, but he didn't. I look so scared. Anyways, you, you've got hardly anything on, Esme. But we're doing Esme's emo -y makeup. We're just testing mm. things, pushing her limits, making her an emo. I don't want to look messy because I don't want to look like I've died. This okay, you emo. won't look like you've died. This is emo. Well. And second of all, the, that vibe is to look messy. It's not you meant to like rub it in and make it I want to look emo, not messy. Look, not, I don't know what dead is about. Okay, so I think I look emo enough. Right, we, well, for now, rub it in like at the sides a little bit, like into your eyes. So that, no, like, I told you I don't like doing that. I'll put, I'll put some more on my eye. And then rub it so it's Oh, not, it's really out of these lashes. But like rub it so that it's like, you know, like goes grey, not like fully black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rub it in like fully to your eyes. You're not used to doing emo makeup as well. You have to give me some patience. You need to listen to me then. I'm kind of liking my makeup to be fair. Yeah, it looks good. I look more emo than Izzy. Izzy busy. Right, right, anyways, now it's time for lips. Now it's time for the part. Okay. Um, when I do my lips, wait, actually, did I, did I give you that lip, red lipstick? I'm trying to find my emo girl. Okay, I've done we're my just... emo makeup, and now for my hair, we're thinking we're going to do little we're twisties. We're on Pinterest for some I think we're going to do this. Like, make sure like, the bob that's sticking right up so like they look really emo. Guys, this is what we've done with our hair. <laughs> we've done all this and we're gonna have to take it all off and do it all again tomorrow. I think this is the. This is good practice to be fair. We just wanted to see what we were gonna. This is. This, if, I, like. if I was Isabel, this is what I'd look like. Should we show off our lips? Yeah. I am wearing this is all from Isabel's wardrobe. Tights, apart from the shoes actually. <laughs> Tights. Oh, wait, these I shoes, my shoes well. make me nice and tall. <laughs> These shoes, um, I'm wearing this skirt, also from Isabel's wardrobe. Very cute. And they bring me the horizon top with a long sleeve t-shirt for my wardrobe, in fact. Yep. Um, and then, hold on. We're gonna find bright neon pink bubbles, but that's all right. Yeah, I actually love it, I can't wait. I might be a bit cold, but. It's worth the. It's worth the, right. It's worth, it's worth the fit. Yeah, it's worth it. I've got my little leg warmers, my tights, mm -hmm. my Christmas Karoma shoes that I got. And my band merch t-shirt, which looks really good. And then obviously I've got my 
Dad's gonna wear his green beanie. This that's gonna go over the top of it. I said, Dad, come, I said to Dad, I said, when we go out for the day, you can wear the beanie like whilst we're out, you know, having food and whatever. But when we go to the concert, he has to take it off because first of all, he's got emo hair anyway, so he'll fit in. Yeah. And second of all, it's too dark for anyone to even see his hair, so whatever. And third, uh, second, third of all, he's just not wearing his beanie. Yeah, Dad. He's just not wearing his beanie. at the concert. Right, here's some of the things that I printed off yesterday. I'm so excited about some of this stuff and so, yeah, just really excited to be honest. So I've printed off this letter formation workbook. This is pretty much the theme for the whole alphabet. So there you go. Um, I think this is really cool. Hopefully Jay's will enjoy doing this. Oh, I thought it'd be good to start Mila because Mila can count to 10 now. She's also able to, she's not just reciting numbers, she can actually count to 10. She's been able to do that for a while, but you know, like if there was 10 counters, she can go one, two, it's called something, I can't remember what it's called, but it's actually recognizing what you're doing when you're counting rather than just reciting the numbers. So she can do that. For her, um, Jace can obviously do it with her as well, but you basically print out, um, where is it, where is it? These numbers, and then cut them, I still need to cut them out, I've printed them and laminated them, I still need to cut them out, and then obviously you count the cupcakes on the bears thing, and then you put on the correct number, and then I also printed off a bland, a bland one, gosh what am I talking about, a one with no cupcakes, because I thought we could use like Play-Doh, and I could put on a number, so I could put a number on and let them make like seven of their own cupcakes with Play-Doh. I also got out some trays because I thought that they could even do activities like this on the drive whilst we're in the car. Um, whilst we're in the van, sorry. These have also not been laminated. They're literally all just like colour by numbers. Or oh, these are the ones that I found that was really cool. I printed off a load of my family so they could draw. I also printed off loads of colour by shapes. So obviously I'll just put in the colours there. There's absolutely loads of these. These, I actually said to Chris, they do colour by numbers, but why don't they do colour by letter? And then I found them and I was like, oh my gosh, they actually do. So there weren't many, but I printed off a few colour by letters. And then I also printed off some like phonics, like sh and ch. Um, I thought they'd be really, really cool. So I printed off quite a few of those as well. And then more of these. I just, even though Jace is quite good at his pen control now, I still feel like these are really helpful. Especially ones like this where they don't even realise they're practising letters. So I printed off a load of those. And then I think we're going to get to some maths work, which is his favourite. And then finally, a few maths pages as well. So I won't go into all of them. I'll just go into the few that I've got here. So... Ignore my children screaming upstairs. Count the pictures and write down the answers in the circles. Jace absolutely loves doing these, so I did them on laminate so we can do them over and over again. We're practicing our adding and subtractions, addition and subtractions with Jace at the minute, so he really loves doing these sheets as well. Isla just came down and I was like, what are the girls shouting at Isles? And she went, oh, we're all just arguing over who has the last pack of noodles. <laughs> She's like, in a joking way, we've not been serious. We were just shouting, I'm having the last noodles. Right, okay. And then finally, some of these. Um, obviously, you just use a line, you count them, and just use a line, and I've got those ones up to number 20. Did you win, Esme? Ah, Esme's rich. I don't think there's any noodles left. You've eaten no. them. My children are obsessed with noodles at the minute. So we've eaten them, we've like put those in they add loads of different ingredients. So it's like super noodles, like noodles. What they called, the ones that you like? Baldak. Baldak. Yeah, they're just the cheap ones, the cheap chicken noodles. They absolutely love them. They add loads of different ingredients, and they like add eggs and I don't know. They add all sorts. Sauce and like garlic bits. They add like loads of random stuff. They add loads of random stuff, and they just love making them for lunch. Anyway, I know that probably seems like there's. Well, they don't really seem like there's that much there, but that'll definitely keep Jace and Mila occupied. Some stuff is too young for Jace, and he's probably past now, but I still think he'll enjoy doing it with Mila, and practice is always a good thing. And obviously a lot of this is too old for Mila, but I'm sure she'll like doing it with Jace as well. All of these were from the early years, age three to five years on Twinkle, the early years, three to five years worksheets. So, what do you fancy? What do you fancy, Esme? A Christmas dinner yeah. sandwich. Like with, I want to get a sandwich with all the leftovers from Christmas dinner and put them all in it with some um, jam stuff, whatever it's called. What's it called? With jam stuff. Yeah, what's the jam stuff? Not jam. It's jam. called cranberry sauce, yeah, Esme. I want to get gammon parsnips, 
everything. With the jam stuff as well. Esme wants Christmas dinner with the jam stuff. What jam stuff? I really fancy a sandwich with Christmas dinner in it. Oh, Christmas that's dinner. disgusting. Yeah, Christmas dinner sandwich. <laughs> there's no Christmas, no noodles. There's no Christmas dinner gammon sandwich. <laughs> Can I get gammon in? Yeah. Wait, what have we got? I'm starving. Have you got anything for your friend? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> say that again, Izzy. Oh, so you know what they'll all be saying now? Starving them. <laughs> Another Did another fox. She just ate it. She just ate it. She just ate it. So Jace is copying them now. What are you having? Chips, gravy, and cheese. Oh. Chips, cheese, and gravy. There's cranberry cheese. Oh my gosh, it's made perfect. What's going on with the light? Wait, have we got cranberry sauce? Have we got chips and cranberry sauce? Will actually be really nice. Yeah, we do we have cranberry sauce. <gasps> Jace! Jace yeah. copies everything his sister does! No, we don't say that. Yeah, you do! You literally Wait, spent what? years saying that. Do they need defrosting? How many chips? Do they have to work it? How, how do you cook chips? Do you put them in the air fryer? As may. Guys, have they ever made me with sure pasta? I'm not sure we can include this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. You need to tell us how to work this though, because I don't know. We're just going to add the Yeah, we're just going to add a lot of stuff. And Mila's oh, saying thank you, I'm not sure what you... Oh, Wait, you're you welcome. I don't know what you're saying thank you oh, for. Oh, thank you. Let's just find a load of rabbits. Oh, oh, no, I don't like paprika, you can put them on your eyes. Not a Let's put some of those on it. Oregano. <laughs> yes. No, it's made not oregano and chips. It might taste nice, guys. It might taste nice, guys. Okay, paprika and chips will be yummy. No, I'm not Yes, it will. You do like paprika. I'm not trying to Esme, I use paprika in literally every single meal I make. Wait, we've we've got fresh chips, garlic. We've, we've got, got fresh garlic, yeah. Would that work with like chips if I like squeeze some into it? What about mixing it with butter and it, like garlic butter yes. chips? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hello. Hello, darling. Are you chilling with Dada? We've just been in farm foods and bought way too much stuff. Yeah. Because Mama's in charge. Mama always never stops. <laughs> you gorgeous girl. Okay, she's bought that much stuff. She can't even shut the boot. Uh, what's up, everybody? So we're out. Um, we've left the house because we have a very exciting little trip coming up very soon. And um, we've got such a busy week this week. It's insane. It's going to be so good. But because this week is so busy, today is shopping day to get all the bits and bobs that we need for the trip. But Sarah reckons there's some boss deals to be hiding farm oh. foods, so oh she's gosh. just she's just it's so cold. she's just rinsed <sighs> a lot of money in there. Yeah, but and the boots full. But 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 what? Okay, I did. But in the long run, in the long run, we'll save. Like yeah, it costs a lot then because I need to bulk buy quite a few quite a few things. Yeah, you bulk buy the boot won't shut. <laughs> it's the drinks. It's your coke. In fact, it's your coke. Crate of coke nowadays, thirteen pound. Thirteen ninety nine or it's two still, for twenty six. Still cheapest in there than anywhere else though. I don't know now, you know. Oh, Sometimes oh, that's not got me deals now. Eh? No, it's still a deal. It's cheapest at the minute, but the boots still open. Over Christmas, Asda did them for like ten pound fifty or something. Oh no, no, don't be sad, oh, darling. She has to go back in the car seat now. She's sad. I oh, know she's mad now. She's angry. Um, but yeah, I did get quite a lot in there, but I did bulk buy quite a few things, so we won't complain. Guys, I'm currently in Home Bargains. Chris has just gone over to the range with Aurora. He needs to get a knife rack, I said, I think. A knife thing. Um, anyway, I'm in here because I need a few things for the school things. I showed you earlier some stationery bits. Also, picked up these are the noodles the girls love, just in case I know they're interested. Chris also said he had a pack of these whilst he was editing one night. But he said that they were the best noodles he'd ever tasted and that they were so flavoursome. So if anybody's likes noodles or you like really quick easy lunches or your children whatever like noodles these are five packs for two pounds so bargain and yep yeah, i'm stocking up also am i missing something on these because these are a special offer for three pound fifty nine so three pound sixty let's say should be four pound fifty for a family size bag how is that a family like can you see how small it is that's not, how is this a, can someone explain to me how that family size bag? How's that family size bag? And why is it £3.60? They're only cream eggs. I don't get it. They're the same size as like a £1 bag of Maltesers. 
What's not going on there, guys? What is this Sunday shampoo and conditioner? Because it looks like something the girls would just absolutely love. I'm just on the stationery section now and I can't actually find... I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I can't find what I had in mind. Okay, we just got back home and I'm about to start making dinner. I've got such a mess to clean, look at this. Anyway, I've just got home and I'm gonna start making dinner. I was originally going for a Spanish dish, never cooked this before, but I'm adding a few ingredients like mixed taco beans, <laughs> which means it's not really, kind of Spanish, garlic bready. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mix of everything. I'm gonna make my own garlic bread, also never done that before. But I'm gonna make it with these rolls here, so bread cakes and then some grated cheeses, some garlic, some parsley, and hopefully that's gonna turn out really good. And then here are a few ingredients that I'll be using for the main dish. So I'm just basically gonna be, oh, potatoes as well, I ain't got the potatoes out. It's just gonna be a Spanish-inspired dish that I'm gonna make in the air fryer. Where's my cheeky darling? Look how beautiful you are! <gasps> what is this? What's this? Is this your little tea that up really is coming to say hello? You wanna come cook with mama? You wanna come cook Indians with mama? I got this on Amazon, it just arrived when we got home, it was it had arrived. And I thought this would be cool now that she's stopped just screaming the whole time that we're in the car, which is what she did previously. Um, so there's no point trying to buy anything like it. Oh, why am I zoomed so far in? There's no point trying to buy anything like this. We did try with a few car toys, obviously to soothe her, but nothing. She like just screamed. She wouldn't even take a break from screaming. So it was pointless. But now that she's taking a dummy, she started to be nice and happy and relaxed when she's in a car seat. What, darling? I got new tattoos. <gasps> you put new tattoos on? Look at that. Where have you got those from? Where did you get them from? Oh, Isla down there dragging out the whole of the craft cupboard. Don't give them... Right, listen, it's okay, but don't do it on anything else. You need to do it at the table so with I, paper. I would rather do it on their hands. I was going to say, yeah, I'd rather they didn't cover themselves. But yeah, um, now that she's happy and nice and relaxed in the car, this had really good reviews. I think it was £20 on Amazon. Yeah, didn't even know it played music. So cute! Right, back to dinner. Let's start preparing these. Here go, man. Here we go. Hi, Peter. Did you just need a hug? You want to sit in your chair and help Mama cook dinner? Oh, I'm looking at your brother and sisters playing. What are you doing? Are you a cheeky Ted? What's this? Who took that off there? I bet that was little Mila. What's that? Machine. Yeah. Where are you going? Bye, awesome, bye, Mila. Bye. Mila, what did you just do? Bye, bye darling. What did you do? Hmm. Me over there. What did you do? On the floor. What? You bashed your head over there on the floor, didn't you? Yeah. She jumped off the sofa into Isla's hand, but Isla didn't know she was about to jump. So Isla turned around, and you no face planted the floor. Thankfully, I put peas on it straight away because she's always getting bumps on her head. But we put frozen peas on straight away and it didn't come up, did it? Mom, it, don't yeah. get me out of it, it's too tight. No, I think Mila's getting out anyway. Right, oh. let's crack on with dinner. We will get this dinner made at some point. So I've lined a one side of the air fryer and in here I'm going to pour a tin of chopped tomatoes. Oh, Why is it stress what's stressing you out? The chopped tomatoes are going in there. Why? The mixed taco beans, the sweet corn, and then the red pepper and onions. What? Yeah, that's what oh, I'm cooking. That's what I'm cooking. And the red pepper and the onions. And then I'm also going to chop up some of this and pop that in there as well. And 
the monster chorizo is in, the Spanish sausage. We're going to put in some of the pad. I'm actually going to have to do this in two batches because there's definitely not enough space in here for all of us. And then spuds in the other side with some of that some of that seasoning on there as well. A little drizzle of olive oil. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Okay, I'm melting some butter that's already on the way to be melted here. I'm now going to add some... By the way, this is the pan that the girls used this afternoon. For anyone thinking, ew, look at that pan. It's because I don't want to ruin another pan. And the girls left this half done on the side and they only put... They did garlic in it earlier, so I'm just using the same pan. But um, I've got some melted butter and now I'm going to add some garlic cloves. And just slipped, guys. Look how much parsley I've just added to this. Way too much. Also, I need a bit of garlic salt and some parmesan cheese. And what else did I put in there? I think that was everything. I'm making garlic bread right now. Um, it's a Spanish. I don't actually know what it's called. But this looks so good. Uh, okay, now we're just gonna literally. Oh, put lots on. You should pour it. Oh, wait, actually, no, because no. I might put too, you might. Might put too much in one spot. Yeah. This is gonna be so delicious. Yummy. Look at that. I saw this on TikTok the other day. Did you? Did you see it on TikTok? No, I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram Reels. Yeah, on Instagram Reels. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys, I think we're pretty much done. The garlic bread is super hot, but it just came out. Oh my goodness, this looks divine. That's just going to be a tear and share. And then I'm just plating up everything else. So you could mix it all, all the potatoes, into the other mixture. However, the bowls in my air fryer are not big enough. So I'm just going to plonk a few potatoes on. And then scoop out a load of the mixture on top. A little sprinkling of mozzarella on top and we are done.